Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel All About Electronics. So in this question, we have been given this open base circuit and here we have been given that the diode current in the circuit can be given by this expression that is equal to Is times e to the power alpha times Vd divided by T where the Vd is the diode voltage and the T is the absolute temperature in the Kelvin. And here we have been also given the values of the alpha and the saturation current. So apart from that, here we have been also given that all the components in the circuit are ideal. So here for the given circuit, we have been asked to find the change in the output voltage for Kelvin change in the temperature. That means if the temperature changes by the 1 Kelvin, then what will be the change in the output voltage? So here we have been given that all the components in the circuit are ideal. That means here this op-amp is also ideal op-amp and that's why no current is flowing into the op-amp terminal, right? That means here, this 250 nanoampere current will flow through this diode. So we can say that this diode current ID is equal to 250 nanoampere. And here, we have been also given the equation for the diode current. That means here, this diode current ID is equal to Is times e to the power alpha times Vd divided by T. So here, to find the output voltage V out, First of all, we need to find the voltage at this non-inverting node. And if you see over here, then that is equal to the voltage across this diode. So we can say that this V plus is equal to Vd, where the Vd is the voltage across this diode. And we can find this voltage with the help of this equation. So if we take the natural log on both sides, then we can write this expression as this alpha times Vd divided by T, that is equal to natural log of is id divided by is so here we already know the values of the id as well as the is so further we can write it as this alpha times vd divided by t that is equal to natural log of this 250 nanoampere that is 250 times 10 to the power minus 9 divided by is and this is is equal to 10 to the power minus 15 so if we calculate the value of this natural log then it will come out as 19 point 337. So from this we can say that this alpha times Vd divided by T is equal to 19.337 or further we can say that this voltage Vd is equal to this 19.337 times T divided by alpha. So now let us put the value of the alpha. So here the value of the alpha is equal to 1.16 times 10 to the power 4 Kelvin per volt. So we can say that this Vd is equal to this 19.337 times T divided by alpha. So if we further simplify it, then this Vd is equal to 1.667 times 10 to the power minus 3 times T. So in this way, we got the expression of the diode voltage in terms of the temperature. That means with temperature, how the diode voltage will change. So with the help of it, now we can easily find the expression for the output voltage. So here, if this Vd is the diode voltage, then the voltage at this non inverting terminal is also equal to Vd, right? Because this node is at the ground potential. That means here, this V plus is equal to Vd. And we know that for the non inverting configuration, the output voltage of the op-amp can be given as 1 plus this Rf divided by R1 times V plus. So here, this Rf is equal to 5R, while the R1 is equal to R. So we can say that this output voltage of the op-amp is equal to 1 plus 5 divided by 1 times V plus. And we know that this V plus is equal to Vd. So we can say that the output voltage of the op-amp is equal to 6 times Vd. And we know that this Vd is equal to 1.667 times 10 to the power minus 3 times T. That is equal to 10 times 10 to the power minus 3 times T. Or we can say that this V out is equal to 10 millivolt times T. So from this expression, we can say that if the temperature changes by the 1 Kelvin, then the output voltage will change by 10 millivolt. Or in other words, the change in the output voltage will be equal to 10 millivolt. And therefore, for the given question, the answer is equal to 10 millivolt. 